There is no one out there making work quite like Michaela Cole. I May Destroy You left me in absolute pieces. And I think it's because the extraordinary thing about Michaela is that she's able to plunge the depths of her own vulnerability to the extent that it feels like she's doing it to all of us and with all of us and for all of us at the same time. The level of emotional complexity that she brings to her work tallied with the hilarity and the wit and the self-awareness um, creates a very unsettling and unique experience of watching um, television. That final episode of I May Destroy You will never, ever leave me. And I think particularly what Michaela did so incredibly is that she doesn't just leave you with um, thoughts and ideas and new perspectives and conflicting ideas for you to chew over for the rest of your life, but she leaves you with a very, very specific feeling and a feeling that only accumulation of what was going on in her head and her heart through her artistry could have left you with. And I really felt that watching the show. I felt a very unique feeling and I feel like that feeling is that I was michaela and I can't wait to be michaela again. She's the most spontaneous creator. You never know what's coming next. And I um, I just can't wait to see what she she creates next. There's just no way of predicting what she does. But uh, I feel very lucky to have crossed paths with her and to be able to be watching her shows. Um, and when the final episode finished, I just felt this huge sort of swell of in my heart. And I found myself just thinking, thank you, Michaela. We really needed that. So thank you. And... Congratulations on winning the Wall Street Journal TV Innovator Award for 2020. You deserve it tenfold. For me, the story is a story and it wants to be told. And in many ways, I am like a servant of the story. My name is Michaela Cole and I tell and create stories. Right now, I've finished a really big, big project, probably the biggest project of my life, called I May Destroy You. And it's being shared across the globe, which is really, really weird. Now that the project is done, I think it's important to rest after a project rather than immediately lining up the next thing. Because when you finish a project, there's like a process of letting it go. And I see these shows as like my babies, right? So I have to figure out my identity now that my kids have left the house. Who am I, you know? Currently I'm in London and the borough I grew up in straddles two boroughs. One is called Tower Hamlets, the other is called City of London. One is a very poor borough, one is a very rich borough, and um, I grew up right in between both of those worlds. That mix and that uh, dichotomy is something I've probably been quite influenced by as a storyteller and as a human. Michaela Cole is the most exciting new talent on television at the moment. Chewing Gum, which was her first sort of outing on, on television was very much about innocence and about growing up. And by comparison, I May Destroy You is a very adult piece. She came to us with her project and said, do you want to do a show together? And for of us are like, yes, please, that would be lovely. <laughs> I had no treatment. I had no pilot for this show. I just had sentences. So he's the brave one <laughs> for taking me on. I May Destroy You. It's a story about a journey through trauma, someone re-examining their entire life and the power and hope of creativity and her ability to juggle comedy and the dramatic. It's a very rare talent. It surprises me how much you can inspire people by just doing your job and falling in love with the process rather than the outcome. Because the process is actually where like all the amazing things are. 
Often I write something which doesn't make that much sense, but I have to just allow the story to develop. And then my script editor, my co-exec producers, my commissioners, they read it and they try to figure out what is going on and what I might mean. Then a dialogue begins. And I think that's what I picked up from my mum, that life would take a lot of effort and to try and find enjoyment in, in that effort because she really didn't have anything when she came to England and managed to forge a life. And she raised me and my sister as a single mum and she worked incredibly hard, but also had like all the time in the world for hugs. Everything feels so fragmented and polarized right now that it would be very hard to try to create societal changes. But I feel like innovation is wanting to change yourself so that what you communicate is, is something new for other people to hear. I think Michaela is in the vanguard of something new that is happening in television. And I think people will look back and see that Michaela was at the forefront of something that was changing, not only in society, but that was changing in television. My work is trying to address changes that need to be made in society. And that is risky, that's very risky. Um, but I think that's where I like to live as a, as a creator. <laughs>